Mama. Mama. Yeah, little baby. <laughs> I heard the rumor that that big boy is not going to be on the show. <coughs> Mark, where the fuck are you, big boy? <laughs> my face is red already. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. Get over in here, big boy. Don't be mad at this, baby. Motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, man. How's boot, baby? The boot, baby. It's that boot life. Mm. Yo, I've been booting like multiple times a day for the past couple days. And I'll tell you what, my bladder. My bladder. Split the splatter. My bladder bladder. <laughs> oh my god people are surprised we're early because that's because fagan ain't here today yeah we're early today it's amazing what happens when we're not waiting for him he's been blaming yep. it on us the whole entire time but exactly yeah dude i got my my boot i haven't even used my boot yet i we're... might have to crack it open during the show we're gonna have a virgin boot night we're yep. both gonna boot Daz boot, baby. Yep. Gregory Brown's in chat. Gregory Brown posted a picture, Mike, of him and his son both indulging the drop. Yes, I saw that. Yes. Yeah. That was a touch my heartstrings. Awesome RDA, man. Yeah. Awesome RDA. As uh, ST would say, the oldest man in vaping is in chat. What's up, Mr. Norton? Marvin Norton in the house? Marvin Norton gives great hugs. I, I just yep. want to let everybody in chat know that. So if you ever see that old guy, give him a big hug. I like Marvin. I've met Marvin a few times uh, at the convention in uh, Mohegan Sun, Foxwoods, actually. I guess the, I think the last convention, he wasn't there. We didn't see him. Was it the Mohegan or, or was it the one that in the NAS? Yeah, Mohegan. It was Mohegan. Yeah. Yep. But, you know, uh, let's talk, we'll talk to Martin. Let's, let's kick it off. Let's do it. Are you doing the bokeh shit now? I don't know, man. You bokeh out, baby. I'm boker-sizing. You gotta do this too. Like just grab it and squeeze them. You can see, look at them. You can see all the wrinkles. Right there. Got old man hands. You need to use more lotion. I gotta eat a lot of beans because I'm gonna be farting tonight in honor of Mark. Ignition! We are live, 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 live. Holy shit, I almost knocked over the boot. Live. Good evening, everybody. Welcome back to the Vape Team, the motherfucking great team. Cloudy Entertainment for that S. It is Thursday night. It is 232. That means for 232 weeks, we have done the Vape Team and we're back yet again. So, welcome to the show, everybody. Uh, a quick little housekeeping. Um, you'll notice that that beautiful son of a bitch, Mark, is not with us this evening. Uh, if you all could, please message vapenfagan at gmail <laughs> at, at gmail.com and send him your love and support because our little buddy had a little procedure this morning and uh, he's feeling beat up and down and out. And I got a message that everything's fine, but he's feeling really tired and sleepy. So send your love to little Marky Poo. He got his tubes clipped, right? He he did. Mark had a vasectomy. Actually, he he had a vasectomy, but when they went in to do the surgery, they actually had to cut his uterus. <laughs> so <laughs> there was a whole bunch of shit that they found in there, and uh, yeah, he was pregnant, and it was just an absolute mess. So I'm just uh, letting everyone know that Mark is okay. He's sitting on the couch probably right now with a big big uh, tub of snacks, and mm -hmm. uh, he's watching the show. So. Yes. Thoughts and prayers. But. I really don't need them. 
With me, as always, the man with the master plan, the king of bling, the king of clouds, the cloud commander, Captain Clouds, the Greek god of modern vaping, the matchstick man, Mr. Matchy Matchy, the iron lung, the third lung, Mikey motherfucking vapes. Good evening. Damn, you covered them all this time. I did. Very nice. It's coffee, baby. (laughs) Good evening, Sid, Greg, Chat, Steve, Adrian. What up? What up? What up? What up? What up? Uh, glad to see everybody out there tonight. The show's going to be a little different. Obviously, Mark is... It's basically like we have a table with three legs. One of the legs is missing. So Mike and I decided instead of canceling the show tonight, we decided we hop on, have a community show, chill with everybody, shoot the shit, have some fun, let loose. Uh, we're going to speak a little bit about New Jersey. We're going to speak a little bit about other things. But for the most part, we're just here because we want to continue the show. We had to take off... I think two times in December and early January, yeah. and we just didn't want to cut another show out. So, yep. What up, everybody? Welcome, welcome to the show chat. See uh, everybody's out there. <clears throat> yeah, so, Mark. Uh, for people, the, the people even know what happened with Mark. Today? Uh, I, they will now. Yeah, he he got neutered exactly. Um, yeah. Yes. So, speedy recovery, Mark. Mike. How about that? Yeah, I status, see that, baby. Oh, you getting called out by ST? What's he saying? What the fuck is wrong with TVC's camera? What do you mean? What the fuck is wrong with TVC's camera? You're getting called out. Uh, <laughs> Why don't you come on the show and answer it, ST? Yep. Huh? Come uh, Dave now. B. Yes, I'll be bulking tonight. What? Geo wants more Mike's home improvement tips. <laughs> Oh, God. Yeah, yesterday we were talking about uh, home improvements stuff on Heavy Show. Well, the truth is Mike is one of those dudes that when you first meet him, you're like, Mike's really cool. Like, he's skilled about vaping. He's got a lot of experience with doing all the videos and everything. But the more you get to know Mike, Mike's like an onion. There's so much depth and layers. Like, grill master, home improvement specialist, entrepreneur. Uh, he, he's given sex tips and, and made sex tip videos, yep. porno, scientist, scientist, scientist. yep. Historian. D- ask him about the Greek Isles. Just do it. Yeah. I, I fucking dare you. Yeah. A little, uh, I was an astronaut also once. Yep. <clears throat> Astro- so I'm like that, astrophysics. So, so I'm like that dude. What's his name? The Dos Equis dude. Yeah. You know, the most interesting man in the world. <laughs> That's Mike Vapes. That's Mike Vapes. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> but that's the beauty of it because he doesn't put it out on the front. Uh, there's Stephen Eagles with 999. He said, "Wishing Mark a speedy recovery." Thank you, Stephen, and also thank you for bulking on yes. this on the Sunday show with yep, uh, you. Made, with us. You made Amy's night. Whew! That's all I've been hearing. <laughs> God, uh, we have a uh, group. Go ahead. We have a group that we messaged, and she's been doing the gif of you bulking. So I feel kind of let down. I'm gonna have to go start to work on chest tries and buys. Mm-hmm. Uh, who's the, who just, I was going to read, oh, Gregory Brown, yes, good purchase there, $18, of course. Looks like Robert Shkreli's in chat, Terry, Terry Vapor, is he going to even hang out without his, uh, lover Mark on, on the show? Yeah, but look what he's saying, bring back BK. Uh, oh, wow, it's amazing how people would fucking back the yeah. bus over Mark. They're already throwing him under the bus. Wow. Dude, uh, I get message at least once a month from people, Mike, that ask where BK is and if yeah. he can come back on the show. Yep. That's all I'm saying. I don't know, Mark. If you don't act right in the future shows, it might happen. I'd like to see him come back. I want, I just, I'd like an update on what's been going on with him. Like a reunion show? Yeah, that'd be awesome. We could arrange that. Just to, yep. you know, But uh, I know he's on, heavily on Instagram with his, wood, his, with his business. He always does pics. Uh, for his woodworking that he does. He's a carpenter. So. Yep. But good um, old BK. A lot of people probably watching have no clue who BK is. Start um, at the B- beginning of the vape team. Yeah, he was in the beginning of the vape team. He was, uh, Mark was actually the one that replaced uh, BK. He's an original member. He's yep. an OG vape he, teamer. As they would call a founding member. Huh. Yep. That's it. BK All right, let's was, go. yeah. Oh, oh, go ahead, go ahead. I was going to say, BK was one of those dudes that he would also surprise you because he had a wealth of knowledge about random shit, uh-huh. and he was also f- it, m- in, unintentionally funny as fuck sometimes. Yes. <laughs> it was also that dude you were, like, worried. Oh, God, what is he going to say tonight? Yes. Which is almost like Mark, right? Yeah. Same thing. So it's like we, we need to have that person 
around us that's gonna say something that's gonna be like what the fuck, fuck? yeah yep uh saddy mike vapes did you get your yeah it's right here i got my boot dude look at boot. look at the beautiful calf look at that look at the calf at that. on that i got my Daz boot a little be... hourglass oh we're prepared already <laughs> we're, we're gonna prepared. party tonight. i'm filling the boot tonight oh i'm not really gonna fill it up but i'm putting those two in there dude i was gonna go hard in the paint tonight mike with a little bit of pellegrino in the boot why not but i can't do it i can't right. do it because first of all it's fucking freezing mm-hmm. should i do well, pellegrino slam them. we're just gonna drink casually casually drink pello yeah well you drink it out of a can drink it out of a boot all right well we'll do that maybe yeah, we'll in a do... second let's we'll do our buffets and then we'll uh yes bk equals angry drunk <laughs> mm-hmm he got vocal at first when he got drunk. He got brutally honest, and then he started getting angry, discontent, and uncomfortable. And it was fucking hilarious. Mm-hmm. Like, absolutely hilarious. He's the kind of dude that when he gets drunk, he tells you what he really feels, and then the next day, he's like, what the fuck did I say? Hell yeah. He's the uh, exact opposite of Mikey Love. Yes. Uh, I can't pronounce your first name, but uh, depressed and disgusted. In New Jersey. Well, Brian's also in New Jersey. Yeah. He's disgusted. But there is some hope. We'll talk maybe a little bit later on. <clears throat> yeah, after we do buffets, we'll do a little spot on uh, New Jersey and what's going yeah, on. Yeah, we'll talk about We're going to cover that, too. Yeah. Um, why don't we do this? Why don't I kick off a little buffet? I'm actually one of those vapors. <clears throat> you guys probably can tell this by now. I only vape a few things. And when I find something I really like, it's what I vape. I'm like the regular vapor on the show. Um. One thing I've been thoroughly enjoying, I actually switched the drip tip to boom. How is that? There we go. To this drip tip. You came in on an angle. Yeah. Hold on. Hold on. Look, if I come in on an angle, see, it's not grabbing it. Look at me. It won't grab it. You got to come straight in. There we go. So I got this new duckbill tip on here, which I really don't prefer. But the metal, I was concerned I was going to crack another tooth. So I'm working with this tonight, but love this little boost. I'm vaping on that tonight. Uh, E-liquid, I got some pistache from my boys at Nada. Love it. And uh, <clears throat> if you guys don't know, Hayestown, HaystownDistro.com, you could pick up pistache, you could pick up Nada, and it is awesome. So I'm vaping on that tonight. I'm also vaping on the Aspire NXT, which I still love, and I still vape it. I'm enjoying that. And I got a little Proton Mini action from Inakin. Proton Mini, filled and chilled and ready to vape. Um, <clears throat> what else did I got? What else did I got? Oh, during the show tonight, I'm going to fill this up with my boot. So it's going to be the boot and this. I got the uh, the Inakin Chroma R, ladies and gents. So I got the Chroma R that I'm vaping on tonight. Nice. Mike, I need to get rid of this light. This light blocks my view. Which one? That yellowish light? Yeah. Thing? yeah. I think you need to get... Uh... The light I got. Should I do the one that Mark copied me? Yes. From the Elgato one. Should I do yellow light, Mike, or no yellow? No, the yellow light looks horrible. No, it's not good. Okay. It's done. No. Doesn't so, look good. Yellow light. What are you uh, vaping on? Yes. Oh, I was just going to say someone actually had a good idea. They said that we should have like our logos on our boots. So I was thinking about doing this. Hold on. La-da-da-da. I know I have a sticker somewhere right here. I'm going to put a coil turd sticker on my boot, I think. Where's my stickers? Do a little coil turd va- uh, boot action. Maybe I'll do that. Man. I don't want to give Amy the boot because she'll have a TVC sexy picture on the boot, and I can't have that. She got socks in. If you guys are on the Vape Team Facebook group, Amy got pictures of me on socks, and I can't stand it. Yeah, who wants to look at me all the time? I don't. I'll tell you that. So I have a uh, got a sticker here. There we go. Take that off. Take that off. Mm-hmm. You gotta wet it like one of those temporary oh, tattoos. God. Stop on me, fuck it. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Got a Mike Babes the boot. Das boot. 
Ready to go. All right. Uh, what am I vaping on tonight? Uh, not much. Yeah, that's just the usual stuff. Got the intake boxer classic, raspberry custard. Mr. Joe Turner. I'm also vaping on. What else am I vaping on? Coco. Recurve Duel on uh, this mod. I can't remember the name of this mod. But uh, yeah, it's a nice looking mod. Vaping on that. And inside there, I'm vaping on some Tailored House Strawberry Crunch. And uh, that's it. I really have not really vaping on anything else. Oh, I'm probably vaping on this. I like the Boule Boule I have in here. Mm. Got the Rebirth of Dillo with some Boule Bolu inside that. And uh, that's it. That's what I'm vaping on, really. Sweet. Right? Yeah, that's it. That's it. <clears throat> that's all she wrote. Small little buffet today. Not much uh, with uh, vaping going on. Vape mail and stuff like that. I would say probably from now until March 1st, even after March 1st. For those that are new to vaping, every single year after the holiday rush, things slow up a tremendous amount. Why China prepares for getting out all of their orders, selling all their inventory, and preparing for the Chinese New Year. And the Chinese New Year, I think this year starts at the end of January. And it lasts about two weeks. So all of the shipping, manufacturing, distribution, all this stuff in China shuts down completely. Everybody goes home for the holiday to spend time with their families. They travel long distances. And then after Chinese New Year's over, uh, a lot of employees don't return. There's a lot of new hires. There's a lot of like relearning the system. And it takes a little bit of time for the, the machine to get back into action. So, And from what I heard is they're actually this year – they're taking more of an extended uh, time off. Check this out. I think this is the message I got from one person. Uh, okay. This is this is Segeli. They said that they're going on vacation January 13th. Am I? Is everything all right? Yeah. Okay. Why? Something flash internet connection is unstable. You saw that where? Yeah, the feed. I'm looking at the feed. Okay, looks good. Oh, yeah, January 13th, and they're coming back 10th of February. So how long is that? What's the date? What, what, January? January 13th. So that's like two. That's almost That's four, almost a full month. Yeah, exactly. And then by the time they go into production and, and new stuff coming, we're looking at a good five to six weeks before we see products coming from China. Yeah. Unless they have stuff ready that they plan on out <clears throat> when they come back from vacation. So, yeah, so it's going to be a rough one with uh, the videos. I might uh, do some, uh, I have some things that I've thought of doing for fill-ins, you know, cause obviously you don't want to vanish for three weeks on the channel. Probably do a few lives. Some special videos that I've never done before. Uh, I might also like do some uh, reviews on, uh, like I might review a television, maybe or something like that. What do you guys think? Yeah, I would love to see different content. You could even have oh. some special guests, Mike. The vape community the is the type that'll crucify you if you review something other than vaping on well, your channel. Oh, I don't mean on the on Mike's channel. I mean on your Mike Life channel. You're gonna see the socks. It's green. You know. We have a we have a an intruder into the vape layer. Uh -huh. uh, oh, that's true. We're not. What's that? So let me see this. Hold on. It's <laughs> <laughs> <That's> floating <laughs> TC sexy Look at that. heads. <laughs> Look at that. So there's a green sock, and uh, hold on. If I if oh, I that's do why we can't see it. If yeah, it's a green sock, but this is the sock on the boot. There you no, go. No, it just just popped up right there. Yeah. There you go. You just had it. So if you want to keep a warm drink warm, there you go. You get a sock for your boot, and then you could oh, enjoy it. God. Yeah. <clears throat> but yeah, Mike, it's also a good time for you to be able to experiment. You know what I mean? You could try like new concepts and new things that you might want to head in a direction, and don't really have pressure because you're not backed up by so much backlog. We'll see. Uh, someone said something about the Segeli Humvee. I'm actually have a Humvee on its way. 
I should have one. Uh, what's today? Thursday? Today's the ninth. Um, <clears throat> tomorrow or beginning of next week, I'll have it. I have some stuff, though, to, some videos. I'm trying to do them, like, every other day. Just so. Yeah. Space it out a little bit. Yep. Yeah. We, we have talked a little bit about, like, um, maybe hopping on a, a game together like me mark st and mike playing like a competitive multiplayer game and streaming it and we'll also obviously be vaping when we play but that might be a good opportunity for us to try that we're thinking about doing um grand theft auto something like that right yeah like grand theft auto 5 with all of us playing as a crew as a crew yeah so but i got all my game systems ready to roll so we can do it i just need to get a new headset for gaming uh we got a donation from is ick Ixarab Sin, twenty dollars. He said, "Mike vapes. You're awesome. Nicest guy in vaping." Thank you, Ixarab <clears throat> Sin. Ixarab Sin. Oh man, you, you know, I I think it's time to, to put something inside the Daz boot. Yes, I'm in the mood for Daz boot right now. So, Mike, I'm gonna do as you fill up with the Coronas. I'm gonna do a competitive boot session. <laughs> so, I'm gonna attempt. To compete real quick i mean just to show this is i'm putting two bottles of corona inside here and look that one bottle look at look what that's <laughs> just filled the heel and the toe that's it oh this is gonna be awkward just drinking beers out of this thing but this is like what they use in uh germany right is it germany they do the boot There is one. Uh, ben, we were. I know it's not competitive. It's more of just goofing around and having fun. Thank you. This is my boot. Cheers. Cheers, Mike. Yeah, I need a vodka cran inside this, huh? Oh my god, I. <laughs> Dude, you would be fucking shit faced. Oh man, salute. Salute. Oh, it just farted. Listen, look. That's because you got to tilt it sideways or else the heel gets the heel kick. Whoa! Look at that. <laughs> You're right. It's the heel kick on me. Yep. Hmm. <clears throat> Very nice. I needed that. Look at that. that. That's weird. Your face is coming up, looking uh, sideways. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! It's like. So for those that don't know, there's a guy named Badlands Chugs. I know St talked about it on Tuesday, but uh -huh. this dude is a competitor. He puts down boots like nobody's business. Okay, imagine not one full boot up to the top, but not two boots, but three boots of Mountain Dew. Ice cold with all the bubbly, and he drinks three of them to the face. Yeah. If you look at the size of this next to my body, it's fucking huge. Like, I don't... A human stomach is no, like... two liters. Yeah, this is two liters. So... It's two liters when it's full to the brim. Is it even safe to drink this much water? No. I, oh, for, that you'd be fine, but when he chugs... That much water, that's you can actually get poisoned from that. That's why I think that after he does his videos, he sticks the finger down the throat and it all comes out. That's what I think. I mean, I could drink, like I'll give you an example. So here's a bottle of water, right? This is a 17 ounces of water, right? This is no problem. Like I can Yeah. Quick, no problem. But a fucking boot of water, I don't think my stomach can handle it. I think I'd be throwing I don't know up. how he does it because I'll tell you something. Just drinking this, it's I, I don't like drinking out of if I drink a beer, it's gotta be out of the bottle. I love the bottle. But drinking it with this, it's fucking uncomfortable. <laughs> it's too it's big and awkward. Of, uh Chug Life, whatever his name is. Chuggy D, what's his name? Don't touch a mouse, Badland Chugs. Yeah. Big shout out to Badland Chugs. I'm like Badland a chugs. I'm like a bitch chucker, you know. Yeah, water poisoning is real. Yep. 
Yeah, he drank two full boots of eggnog in one video. How about the video where he drank, was it, was it three boots? I think of the beef broth. Oh, God. Uh, he also did Kool-Aid. He did Kool-Aid, but with no sugar in it. That's got to be like nasty as fuck. Kool-Aid yeah. with no sugar? Oh, God. Kool-Aid with no sugar is like ham with no cheese or peanut butter with no jelly. Mm -hmm. Can't have it. Yeah. <clears throat> ST got the sock? What the hell? It sucks. Yeah, he opens his throat and it goes down. It's just... It's like... It's like he hits it like he's hitting off... Uh, like vaping. Or like, a, know, be like a beer bong. Lung? Direct lung. He's doing direct to stomach. Well, you got to figure that the weight of the liquid in here, when you tilt this sideways, it sort of acts like a like a, a, a certain amount of gravity and pressure, and it pushes the liquid down. I'm going to try to chug this, Mike. I'm going to see how far I can get. All right. So, three, two, one. I ain't got shit. Yeah. Oh. Dude, it's impressive. Dude, His it, stomach is so stretched out that he could just fucking throw a whole fucking dumpster. Dude, it feels like you're like I can literally feel my stomach putting pressure on itself, expanding, and it can't go anymore. Sure. Like I feel like your stomach's just maxed out. Well, that's from that's stretching. I mean, he's a big guy. He's Dude's a real like big guy. pounds. So that stomach is probably like five times the size <clears throat> of a normal person's stomach. <laughs> uh, he is going to barf, LOL. Uh -oh. Hold on. Uh, it makes you feel like shit, too. Yeah. Doing a whole boot of beer? Yeah. Dude, the, dude, the, the guy did an entire boot. Of fucking or two boots of eggnog. He did two full boots of beef broth. Imagine how much sodium is in two entire boots of beef broth, and he took them straight down. It's unbelievable. Yeah, DC is like he ate forty. It's true. He ate forty hot dogs with the buns in ten minutes. Well, he's he competes in that uh, the Coney Island hot dog challenge that they do. It's every year the competition. He competes in it. I think okay. he won the last one, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, uh, Kid Bass said, Brian, you're going to be up all night peeing. There's no doubt about that. Um, PSS Mike said, from Google, in order to avoid hyponatremia, uh -huh. is it hypo hyponatremia symptoms, you should not drink more than 27 to 33 ounces, 0.8 to 1 liter of water per hour on average. Yeah. Yep. Exactly. That's when he drinks. And you got to think about it. Okay, he's drinking three, three two liters of uh, whether it's soda or whether it's, he's drinking Gatorades. He does that shit. Yeah. Th that's water, too. There's yeah. water inside there. Yeah, this is not like ice cold carbonated fucking soda or beer yeah. or gravy or. He, he, he chugs that shit cold. Everything. Yes. Everything is cold. Nope. But the problem is, is that when you stretch your stomach to that size, could you imagine how hungry you're going to feel if you eat just a hamburger and a french fry? You know what I mean? Yeah. It's going to yep. sit in there like nothing. Yeah. Oh, uh, they're saying he didn't win. Oh, I don't know. Who won then? Was it that other guy, that Kobayashi dude? Well, Mike, the other thing is, is that when you was... look at the size of the dude, but then you look at some of the other competitive eaters... They can eat shit tons too, and they're small, you know, tiny. Like that little, what was the one, the one tiny girl that that does the competitive eating? That's awesome. It's just amazing. Oh, it was Joey Chestnut. Yes, yes. Yeah, Joey Chestnut. Yep. Yeah, but it was. It used to be that other dude that would win it all the time. That Kobayashi guy. Remember? I think that was his name, Kobayashi or something like that. Some weird name like that. Anyway. Rigor Mortis said, you ever see that skinny kid? He ate two extra large pizzas, 16 wings, five breadsticks, and a two-liter soap within 10 or 15 minutes. Yeah. Unbelievable. 
I don't think that could be healthy for your your internal organs, or for like your stomach. You Is know that the mean? dude that we've watched uh, that STS shared in Zoom that we watched that ate all that eats all that food? Is that who they're talking about? I didn't see a person eat all the food. Like, you know, you know who we're talking. About. You just you have a bad memory. Who You've was in the room? So many times where he ST always shows this dude eating all this fucking food because he does the same shit his channel. The competitive eating. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if you're talking about that. <clears throat> uh, yes, Ruben, the Chino guy, Kobayashi or whatever the hell his name is, something like that. Yeah. Where he fills up the big bowl of like uh, whatever. It'll be ice cream and then it'll be like <laughs> fruity pebbles. Southern Conference has Kobayashi, the usual suspects. <laughs> I don't know what his name is. I thought it was Kobayashi. <laughs> Sounds similar to that. Mike's making up names for movies. Well, someone's going to look it up. Yeah. Find out what that dude's name is that I'm trying to say. Matt Stoney. Who? ST says Matt Stoney. There you go. Takara Kobayashi. Is that it? Karen wrote it. Is that who that is? I guess. Yeah, not that. Koba, that's Kaiser Soze is from the user of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Kaiser that Kobayashi. I was saying the guy's name right. <laughs> wow. The hot dog record is seventy six hot dogs and buns in ten minutes. Damn. Yeah. Crazy man. I don't know how people do it. So real quick, why don't we talk about New Jersey and what's going on? Oh, before I do that, this guy's yeah. asked this question. Uh, I got, uh, what do you call it, um, aliens in the recurve. Uh, no, no, Martin, not Kawasaki. <laughs> mm. well, fuck it, yeah, his name is Kawasaki. Matt is the skinny kid, yeah. Is that the guy, ST, that you that used to always show us? Yeah, Matt Stone's the skinny kid. Stoney. Yes, Joseph. He used to win early in the 2000s. Right, I haven't been really keeping up, but I do know that uh, I think what's his name, uh, our man Das Boot Chugs. I think was in that competition too. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Badland Chugs. So we just got a donation, Mike, and the donation is Big B Jones, two dollars. Let's see your new mod, Mike. Oh, look at that! There you go. I don't think you guys have any idea how tiny this little sexy hard hit mod's gonna be. Yep. It's tiny. You got anything to compare it to, Mike? You got a bestia? Look at this. This is one of the short shortest twenty one seven hundred max. Compare it to like a Vindicator. Okay. Yeah. Just to give people the idea of how small this thing is. So there's the bestie and the vindicator. Boom. Just like that. Yep. Yep. Let's see what else do we got here. Do we got anything else I could show? Where's my dreamer? There we go. Here, here's the dreamer. And, uh, yeah, 21700. Mike, what's the uh, RDA size that you can fit on top of there? Up to a 26. 20, that's it, 26. You there could you put go. a 28, but it, you have a slight overhang on the sides. But uh, 26 is the most. The most popular are 24s and 25s, which that's it just looks sexy. Yeah, and remember, too, Mike's showing off, like, a pre-production prototype. Wait until you guys see... Well, I'm not, I don't. I don't want to share anything that Mike hasn't wanted to share yet. So I'm not. I'm going to keep my mouth shut. But all I'm saying is, what about the insides? Insides and also. Oh no! Yeah, I, nobody knows anything yet. Yeah, I, that's for the video. Yeah, there's going to be a ton of. Yeah, I only showed the outside. And there's also also later on after it's released, all you know. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, it's going to have all the accessories. It's going to be the hot shit. Yeah. There's going to be accessories. It's. <laughs> Basically, the idea of it is for it to be a, a single 21700 mech mod, but yep. shaped. 
like the SQ and make it small, compact, customizable with the doors. That's the one thing about the SQ, which is awesome, is that you could just slap different doors on it and just customize it, switch out the fire buttons and put different fire buttons. So this is going to be compatible, the fire button for this. So if you have, for example, the uh, top side SQ and you've invested on fire buttons for that, because that's a different size fire button than the regular SQ, if you have invested and purchased them from Synergy Tips, those same buttons will work on this one. We're basically going to be like brothers. Yeah. Like if you want a squonk, you got a squonk. And if you want a, a, a standard mech mod 21700, there you go. Yeah, for people, it's, this is a hybrid mechanical mod. It's hybrid yeah. on here. Uh, price is going to be, for not, I think it's going to be 90, 90, 90 US dollars. There we go. And as you guys know from the SQ top side, the quality, it's going to be out of control. The, how it hits is going to be unbelievable. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. I was actually with Mike in his presence when he had the idea for this. And you should have seen him. He lit up. <laughs> he, he had like this, his whole body moved and he goes, oh, my God. Yeah. I told him. I, th I said to him. I, I just, I just had, had one of those I ideas. Just had a revelation. Just something just. And it all got and really got set off to me, where it clicked to me, and that's why I ran to you. Was uh, was M Turk? M Turk was vaping uh, an SQ mod with uh, his M Turk RDA, and I told him, uh, I said, him, "What are you swanking in there?" He's like, "I'm not swanking." He's like, "I've never used this as a swank mod." He says, "I use this as a mech mod. I just love the the form factor of it being a mech." And that's where I was like, there you go. I already, I already had a thought, but it just, there was something in there. And, but that clicked it right there. And that's why I fucking ran to you. And I'm like, I got it. I'm yep. like, I don't know why he hasn't done it. And, uh, when I talked to him, I told him, he was like, let's do it. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. It's fucking going to be awesome. Yep. I'm uh proud of this one. And this is not like a, a main, strictly, obviously, a Mike Vapes design because obviously the body, the style, that's SQ's style. Yeah, it's a true collaboration. Yeah, it's, this is a collaboration. You know, this is a collaboration design. Yep. You know? When collaborations are meant to be, they're effortless yeah. because it's just, it, it, the ideas just work so well together. And this is one of those things that I think is just meant to be. And when they're meant to be, it just happens. Yeah. There's when like people force collaborations, not so yeah. much. Yes, it's hybrid ID. It's hybrid. Uh, like uh, you'll see, like when I do the presentation video, I'm going to show the internals of this, how it looks, and then the released version. So there was some corrections, some stuff. I'm going to explain everything in the video on it. I know not everyone's into mechanical mods, but at least for those people that are mech mod users, they're going to love this one. Uh, Cheryl says 80 watts, huh? It's, a, it's not regulated, Cheryl. It's, no, it's a mechanical mod. Yeah. Well, you could do 80 watts on it. You just got to build appropriately if you want to do 80 watts. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and it's obviously, it's not also a product that's for beginners. You have to understand your Ohm's law, make sure you're using good batteries, which I'm going to discuss all that in the video. Correct RDA. Yep. All that stuff. Yep. Hitman says he's just here for the giveaways. Oh, speaking of that, I, I actually have a little bit of an agenda. One more, uh, one more thing, one yeah. more thing. Go ahead. Just so people could get an idea, just like they're going to be a little bit of a wow factor. Uh, yeah, there you go. <laughs> a little bit different in size, I could say. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> uh, Brian, DC says, Brian, I love your SQ topside presentation video. Thank you. Well. I you thought it was one, good. I did. Yeah. It was excellent. For the other one, though, I did it for him. Yes. I did <laughs> Sometimes you got to bring out the big guns and let the professionals handle things. That's all yeah, I'm the saying. Yeah, Topside Light, I did the presentation video yep. for him. <laughs> I was going to dub my voiceover, but I figured it was probably better if it was just Mike's voice. How funny me. is it that I, do, I did a presentation video for you, and Brian also wanted me to tell you guys that the, he did this for this and like this and this. This was his thought process. Yeah. Oh, that's 
Uh, real quick, follow Relish on the Instagram, Amy Relish on Instagram. Also, happy birthday, Katie Tucker. Huge happy birthday to you, Katie Tucker. Nothing but love from the vape team to you. And also, Mark Sr. Happy birthday, Mark Sr., you son of a bitch. Nothing but love. Mm-hmm. Uh, also, this Sunday, there's going to be a live stream on Vape and Bogan's channel. That's going to start at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time to raise money for the devastation from the recent fires uh, that are happening in Australia. And for those of you that haven't been watching the news and have been living under a rock, you you would not know, but you should know that Australia is going through a horrific wildfires right now. People are losing their homes, their businesses, their livelihoods. Animals are suffering. People are suffering. And uh, there needs to be a global movement to support the families, the people, the businesses, the wildlife, the the, the uh, environment. Uh, we just need lots of love and support. So if you could jump on Bogan's channel on Sunday, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, show some love, donate some money, donate your time. Uh, you know, that's how we work as people. So the, the number I heard, I can't remember offhand, but it's astronomical how many animals have been killed so far. Yeah. It's, a, it's I think if I'm not mistaken, it's over a hundred thousand animals dead. Yeah, it's this, it's disgusting what's going on. And not only that, that fire, it ain't stopping anytime soon. There's no rain forecasted. Put it out. It's gonna be going on for a while. It's devastating. Yeah. I can't even comprehend, like, there was somebody that posted a picture of the United States and took the, the the areas in Australia that are on fire and laid it over the United States, and it blew my fucking mind. It was like the entire East Coast, all of all throughout the center of the country, the entire West Coast, like, like probably 30 states would be ablaze. Yeah. So our hearts go out to you. It's just, nature is unforgiving, go. man. It's so sad. Half a billion animals. That's what the number was. I know it was, I just couldn't, that's why I said over 100,000. Half, 500 million animals, yeah. Yeah. It's disgusting. And it's sad to say that, um, you know, these animals are suffering from burning to death, and that's not a good way to go. It's horrible. Another, a billion. Yeah. Uh. yeah. Praying for rain, baby. Praying for rain. Uh-huh. Yep. Yeah. New Jersey? Yeah, New Jersey. So, um, real quick, Greg Conley updated everybody this afternoon about what, what was going on. And I was sitting in my office today, and I was watching Jay Hayes' live stream. He was streaming uh, the actual meeting that was happening. And uh, once again, and it's all it's kind of all bad news. Uh, hearing, like, Cheryl from Innovate speak and um, – all the small businesses. Tristan was there. He was speaking. Uh, I know Chloe was updating everybody on uh, uh, an MTurk on on Twitter and Instagram, and um, <clears throat> seeing all the small businesses sharing about how they have little kids at home. They change their careers to take loans to start businesses. They have three more years on their leases. Um, their inventory is worth this much money, and they're going to be without. It just breaks your heart what's happening in New Jersey. But this is what Greg said. Um, he said the ban will pass, but in 90 days until it will take effect. We have momentum to possibly, potentially pass amendments. Um, he said it appears the New Jersey flavor ban will pass out of both committees today, but the effective date will be 90 days from when it's signed. The sponsors wanted an immediate effective date, but the legislature, the legislators balked. We have a real chance of getting a new bill passed in those 90 days. In other words, if vape shop owners can get fired up, work cooperatively over the next 90 to 100 days, uh, we can potentially get a bill through that keeps vape shops open. So as, as bad as the news was, there's still hope. So if every, all the vape shops, the 250 vape shops in New Jersey come together, work cooperatively, maybe there could be amendments made or the bill can be resubmitted, I guess, from what I understand. So. Yeah, they still have a chance. It's it's just it's messed up. We're just watching that. They they basically voting on something that they don't know about. And you could see it because people were like, Oh, can you explain stuff to us? It's like if you don't know, why the fuck are you voting? Yeah. Shouldn't you do shouldn't you do your homework before you go and vote? 
I hate it when these motherfuckers think they got so much power. They go, whatever the fuck they want. They don't give a shit. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't affect me, so I don't give a shit. Yep. I can't. It's, it's, it's just disgusting. Yep. Disgusting, man. <clears throat> uh, it's heartbreaking. Why only New Jersey? It's not only New Jersey. It's going to be every single state. There's going to be state after state after state, town after town after town. And uh, corrupt politicians dependent on, you know, tobacco tax revenue. And uh, they're going to be trying to shut shit down, man. They want to disrupt our industry. They want to stop the flow of products. They want to stop people transitioning. They want to allow other businesses to come in and take control of this industry. They want to consolidate it. And they want to control it. And then they want to bring it back out where we're not involved. They own it. They make the taxes off of it. They make the revenue off of it. And uh, it's a big corrupt game of who's paying who and who's getting money from it. That one dude, uh, Herb Conway. Yeah, Herb Conway. That dude just disgusts me. Yep. He's, He's the dude that I would actually walk up to, and I'm not that type of person, but I would spit in that guy's face. Yeah, big piece of shit. I would do a fucking beautiful loogie. <laughs> yes, one of those in his face. A snot rocket. Care. If I'd get arrested or whatever, it'd be so worth it. Just I was impressed loogie. Face. with the composure that the people had you could feel their emotions their anger their rage and their sadness brimming up when they were speaking and i was amazed that none of them went off the handle i mean obviously it's good that they didn't but man i don't know yeah. how i don't know how they did it i would but not not have been able to compose i'll myself. tell you though even though the, the votes went against still there were people that actually got turned there was that one lady that betty lou lady during a vote, she was going to vote for the ban, but last minute, she realized that she went against it. So, but it wasn't enough, you know. But it's it's messed up. I think I read also earlier today, Mike, that on the bill, there was something about menthol cigarettes that Deptford, a representative from Deptford and a, De- a representative, I think, from Winslow, New Jersey, two days ago made a deal to take menthol cigarettes off of the ban. And got it pushed through. Yeah. How disgusting is that? Yeah. It's fucking crazy, but, man. You know what the disgusting part is? The way that Conway was talking, it's like, dude, you know cigarettes are for sale, right? And that's okay with you. Yeah. It's... That's the most disturbing point, dude. These, these corrupt politicians, they will look you right in the eyes. And they have no shame. They don't care. They don't give a fuck. And they will do what they're going to do. They will do it in front of you and they will have their middle fingers up and they just, there's no repercussions. There's no consequences. The only consequences is is getting their fucking asses voted out of office. That's it. Yep. But they're so interconnected with public health, tobacco control, that they can mislead the public. They can give false studies. They can make people second guess the studies that we do have that are pro vaping. It's disgusting, man. It's a well oiled machine. I got to give them props for the fucking corrupt ability that they have to be able to push this shit across. And and I also have to say I'm ashamed of the uneducated, gullible, and easily manipulated public. And that's just where the government wants you. They want you stupid. They want you to lack the knowledge. And they don't want you to fight for anything. They want you to accept that they have your best interest in mind. And they do not. You have a better capability for your own family. Yeah, that's why it's like, I don't want to bring up politics. But that's what the the Democratic ones, that's exactly how they are. They want to tell you what's good for you. Yep. Who the fuck are they to tell us anything? Whatever happened to individual capabilities to raise our own families, to make choices for our own communities and for our people that we care for? Like, when did we think that they would have our best interest in, in mind? Yeah. It's not the way this country was built, I can tell you that right now. Yep. Well, at least there's still hope in New Jersey. My, my state, well, I don't know about state, but in New York City, all of New York, I think it's in what is it? Maybe three more months left. Four months. I think it's four months. In four months. I was actually talking to Spiro today, and he's like, um, he's thinking about making a resume up to try and find a job. Start looking as of, from now. He's like, because all the vape shops in New York City are all closing down. Doesn't you can't survive selling hardware only. 
and and uh, tobacco liquid and VGPG liquid. <laughs> they ain't surviving. They ain't surviving, especially ain't with the surviving. overhead that they have to pay oh, to keep can't. their business open. So um, he's in that situation. He was like, I don't. What do you say? What do you say to? to I don't know what to say to him. You know, I can't even tell him. Oh, don't worry. Things will be better. It's over. It's gone through already. It, the governor. Uh, what's the governor? No, the the um, the mayor. The mayor signed it, signed it off. It's a law that they gave six months. And that's that was, I think, two months now. It's gone by. So there's another four months left. Yep. I think it's actually, what is it? It's like perfectly timed right around the times where the PMTAs. I think that's when it is. Yep. Amy in chat is saying, please be mindful. We still need to try to educate in New Jersey. There's still time. Definitely, Amy. We have to have hope. If we lose hope, then we have nothing. Yeah. So obviously we need to continue fighting no matter what happens. Yep. There you go. Anthony Koch says, I work for the New York City Transit, and they've been, they've been banned. They've been banned vaping. Okay, I get what you're saying. And that is actually the rule book now. There you go. So it's screwed up. Uh, it's funny too because I'm at that point that I just want to leave New York. Yeah. I'm disgusted with New York that I don't even want to pay my taxes in New York. I don't want I don't want them to get my money. I don't want them to get none of my money. I don't want them to get taxes. Uh, I don't want them to get my real estate taxes. Nothing. None of all taxes. I don't want them to make money off me. Yep. I want to give it to another state. Somebody that's going to actually work for the people. I do not believe in New York. Yep. You know? And another thing is, and it's funny that I, I was thinking about all this, and then I come to find out, I think yesterday, there was something, or day before yesterday, I don't know what it is, when it was, but uh, I can't remember the number, but New York is one of the top states. People are leaving New York. Yep. People are actually moving out of New York, and it's at you an alert, alarming rate. That's never been before. People you know what leaving. that means, Mike? The more people that leave, that means the more holes there's going to be in the budget. That yeah. means the more taxes they're going to have to charge the people that remain. It's yeah. only going to get worse. Amy and I talk all the time. I always tell her, we need to get out of New Jersey. We need to get out of New Jersey. New Jersey, New York, the, the entire, all the blue states on the East Coast, it's so fucked up. Yeah. I'm going to go move uh, with ST, Tennessee. Yep. Well, I might move to Delaware. Might no. Delaware is a blue state, but it's a it's a yeah. lot more free. But than the New thing Jersey. is, I can't leave. In a way, I can't leave. I mean, you I got a could, business, but I can't leave. You know, I'm one. Yeah, my wife's business, which I have is a business. fine. Uh, whatever we'd figure that out. But it's her parents. Yep. Can't leave them behind. And then I have my father. I don't want to leave. Yep. My father behind. You know. I mean, my brother. You know, my niece. I don't want to go too far. So it's like, whatever, we'll figure it out. Maybe Pennsylvania. Uh, it's an hour drive for you. It just sucks. Yep. In these best said the East Coast and West Coast are wastelands. Yeah. If you, if you uh, want your individual liberty and your freedoms, you don't want to be on the coast. Tell you that. Uh, Bob, New York is nice, too. The thing is, with New York, a lot of people, when they hear New York, they think of Manhattan. You know, they consider that the city. I live in New York City, but I don't live in Manhattan. I live more in, it's called Queens, which the is boroughs. The, the boroughs. And it's more uh, more like uh, more residential. I'm not, it's not the skyscrapers where I live and stuff like that. It's not like the way you envision it. I don't I, I hate going to Manhattan. I think it's disgusting. And someone said it perfectly there. New York City to go to Manhattan is good for a vacation. You're going to go there to see the buildings where you've probably, a lot of the majority of people watching haven't seen skyscrapers the way they are in Manhattan. When you're there, you're going to be you're like, I mean, I even do it. I'm like, because I don't go a lot there. So I get overwhelmed when I'm there. I'm like, wow. Yeah. 
but uh, I just couldn't. I just couldn't live there. Ugh, it's disgusting. Yeah. Mike, I gotta tell you this, and I'm sorry. I gotta piss. Oh, oh. <laughs> From that uh, fuck of water. <laughs> yep. Uh, Mike, you see how Como is going to fix the Medicare debt? Raise local property. Yeah, the taxes. Yeah, my taxes have gone. Forget it. The house. Then obviously, when you have a home, and uh, you gotta remember the people that have one family homes. Then a lot of those people that have one family homes. They're just selling their homes and leaving. Like now, because they can't. Especially if they're retired, they can't afford to pay the taxes and go through all that in New York. They leave. Fuck that. The domino effect, rigor mortis. Eh, I had domino effects already started. Uh, Quad Vape says you should do more shows, just the two of you. <laughs> yeah, we got we got a lot of accomplices, no distractions. Of Mark. Oh, Mark costumes. Hold up. I got to do my Mark costume. There we go. So right now. Hey, Mike. Here we go. <laughs> oh, <laughs> look. I'm doing a Mark costume. There we go. Costume change. Yep, costume change. Well, hold up. <laughs> honor of Mark. Mama. Mama. That's not spinning. Dude, that shit was funny with us going down the staircase. <laughs> Dude, the best thing. It looked like he had a walker. And he was using the walker to go down the staircase. Unbelievable. <clears throat> yeah, it's a shame we can't get Mark's input tonight on the show for all the stuff that's going on. I would love uh -huh. to hear what he has to say. I always love his side of things. Uh, oh, check this out. Douglas Road says, Mike, I pay 1200 a year property taxes. Delaware, I'm telling you, not a lot paying jobs, but homes aren't expensive. Yeah, 1200 is awesome. I'm paying close to 9000 I think, a year property taxes. Yeah, I have a, 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 I have a bungalow, a two-bedroom bungalow in a tiny property. Like my driveway literally takes up half of my property. And I pay eight eight thousand two hundred dollars a year in property taxes in New Jersey. Yep. Not to mention we have a high state tax. We ha you know it's it's ridiculous. New Jersey taxes you like crazy. My face, I say we all get together and grab Como and his brother. <laughs> I'd read that out. <laughs> Someone on board at the Canada. Oh man. Yeah, my just... my associate at my office, Mike, he pays twenty two thousand dollars a year in property taxes. Yeah, for me, eight thousand. That's I'm at a cheaper rate. Yeah, this place is that's yeah, unbelievable. Could you imagine that two thousand dollars per month in property taxes? That means if you pay off your house and you own it outright, you still have to pay two thousand a month. There's people's mortgages that are way cheaper than that. If you think about it, when you know when they say, "Oh, when you pay off your house," oh. It's well, you, you ain't paying. You're, you're still paying rent. You're paying rent even when you own your home. Yep. You forever. Yep. For these corrupt politicians to to pass bullshit legislation that puts small businesses out of business. Yeah. Bullshit. That's why you see a lot of people that, especially in New York, they'll leave. When they'll retire. They'll leave New York, go to Florida. You know, because it's the, the just cheaper to live. The houses are. Much cheaper, taxes are cheaper, you know, and they'll sell their home, for example, just a rough idea. Let's say they have a home in New York and they sell it for a million dollars. Yep. They take that million, they go and buy a house in Florida for a couple of hundred thousand dollars. They still got 800,000 K in the bank and they, they live off that money and their social security check. You know, that's what a lot of people do. I'm still young, though. I have, like, another 50 years before I reach that, so. Yeah, it looks like Mike from, I think that's Mike from Firehouse E-Cigs and Vapors. Shout out to you, Mike. Nothing but love. Um, he said, get out. Mike and I have oh. talked about this. Get, get out, out of New of Jersey. New, New, Jer New Jersey. Uh, and, and New York. I'm sure he'd believe oh, that, Oh, yeah, too. both. They're both. Uh, yeah. Disgusting. Cesspools. Yep. No doubt about it. How's that boot doing, Mike? <laughs> oh, 
yeah. Dude, so this is the most unpractical fucking it's, thing for drinking. I don't I th- think I'll ever use it again to drink. I think it's going to go in the in the cabinet or the closet. Yeah, that's going to be more of a little showpiece. Yeah. Sexy heel, though. Look at that heel. Look at the arch. Yeah. yeah. The funny part is, as a showpiece, like if it's just sitting empty back here, you won't even be able to see it because it's... You don't even notice it's there unless you put a whole bunch of stickers all over it. Yep. Uh, let's see. Someone actually, where was that? I read it before. Oh, yeah, by the way, more. Firehouse, real quick, shout out. I, I know that this is not, you know, this is a local vape shop, which I support, but this stuff from Firebrand, I vape it all the time. I go to get my refills. Awesome, awesome liquid. This is all I vape in all of my pod style of mods. Is Love that it. what's the milligram? 18? 18. 18. I'd like to try that in 12. It's so good, Mike. I'll have I'm to get need you to some. find a, a Cyberry replacement soon. Yeah, this is called Penguin Corpse. It's a wintergreen. Uh-huh. It's just so simple, so satisfying. 18 yeah. milligrams, perfect hit, and it gives me that throat hit that I want. Oh. Perfect. You have to pick up a bottle for me. I will. Next time you go. It's great. Never get tired of it. It's delicious. Oh, 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 oh. Jop 75 Ewing, you are a genius. Mike, fill your boot with drip tips. I am going to do that. A big boot of drip tips? Yes. You know what? Maybe I'll do it next week's show. I'm going to see how far I could go with drip tips. My whole collection in here, if I could... We'll see what level I could reach. If I was to predict... I'm thinking the Achilles tendon. I think about here. (laughs) Somewhere here with drip tips. Because, I mean, this doesn't do it justice on camera. When you're in your hands, like, holy shit. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wait, I actually have more. I might be able to go higher than that, actually. I do have more. Yeah. Yeah, we can have a, have a drip tip contest. It, we'll count before we put them in, and then we'll have a, a contest to see who can guess how many drip tips are in there. Cheryl says, uh, you have that many, Mike? Oh, God. I mean, Mike's got fucking drawers of drip tips. This is, that's all drip tips. Yep. In here... They don't call him Mr. Matchy Matchy for nothing. Strip tips in here. And I ain't even done yet. I got two more. Strip tips here. JJ for FSU said, I think you should put a lampshade on Das Boot like in the Christmas drip story. Drip tips here. Then I got more drip tips. I got a shit ton of uh, five cent drip tips. I got these uh, like little cabinet things with I don't know how you call them. They mount them on the wall. We could put screws inside there. It's like a sh- some sort of like screw shelving thing. And I got a bunch of like drip tips. I got wire. I got all that stuff, which I have it mounted inside the kitchen area. Uh, Mike, do you wear your MAGA? What's a MAGA? This? That's not a, that's a, that's a MAVA hat. Make What's America vape again. No, I Make America. MAGA is Make America Great Again. That's a Mava hat. Yeah, this is... This, look, I'm, that's the hip thing, right? You leave the sticker on? Yeah, you got to leave the sticker on. Leave the sticker on, baby. That's some balling. Yeah. This is like one of them flat brim thingies. I just couldn't do the flat brim. I had a... I, I'm not that that flat brim dude. Got to bend it a little bit. Yeah, but um, I, I feel more comfortable with my... My baby hat. The signature Mike Vapes look. Yeah. I was telling Mike Vapes if he had an open casket someday, he's going to have to have the hat on because it's his signature look. Hell yeah. yeah. I'm the one, you know, the way when there's people that will put a hat on as a disguise when they go out so yeah. they don't get noticed. I take the hat off when I go out. So yeah. Mike goes I incognito. Hat, somebody recognizes me. Yeah. Like, Mike! I'm like, oh shit. <laughs> yep. Mike America vape again. <laughs> yeah, Trevor, you got to get this hat. You know who 
I got this from a company. Uh, they messaged me. Uh, what the hell is the name? I'll get you the website right now. Let's see. Like Amy just said that she had that hat before the drop was released when you went to Heavy Shop. So you're copying her. Uh, I don't know what she's talking about, but that's cool. She wants to get the little street cred for the hat. Oh, give it to her. There you I go. Never, so I, it's not like this was sent to me. I didn't ask for it. Yeah. Where the hell is this uh, message from this dude? I think a lot of people are agreeing that you look good in the hat. You're going to piss some people off that think it's the Make America Great Again hat. And then you're going to also make 50% yeah. of the country love you. So. Oh, it's a Omen, Omen Vaping Apparel. They're pretty cool. They messaged me and they told me, uh, we want to send you uh, a hoodie. I told them the only way I'm going to do it is the, I have to choose a hoodie. So I, I chose a ho one hoodie from them and they sent me two hoodies, which I got like yesterday or day before yesterday. And they sent me this hat came in today, which I was like, what, what is in this box? And it was a hat. But the hoodies, check this out. Dude, I, I follow them on Instagram and their hoodies are dope. Yeah, they got some nice stuff, but I wanted specific hoodies. Yeah. That's cool. Vaping, Vaping is, is not, a, not crime. a crime hoodie. This is pretty dope. I saw, I was like, yeah, I got to have that one right there. So they sent me this hoodie and I haven't opened this one up yet. Warning, this hoodie may contain nicotine. Nicotine is an addictive chemical. There you go. So this one I didn't ask for. They just threw this in. I guess they got the idea. I wanted a hoodie that had to do with vaping. So I threw in a second hoodie inside there. Aren't they from the UK, Mike? Uh, no. No? From the no, US? No, not from the UK. Hmm. I don't think so. It's a Omen. Omen Vaping Omen. Apparel. Yes. You can get follow them on Instagram. Here, I'll, I'll put it in chat. If anybody's interested, tell them Mike Vape sent you. Omen Vaping Apparel. I'm pretty sure their website is that too. Omen Vaping Apparel. But they have some pretty cool stuff on there. Yep. Hell yeah. But uh, I'll definitely be rocking at uh, them hoodies. You'll see them in upcoming reviews. I got I to gotta wash them first. Sweet. Hell yeah. Anything else, Mike? It's 11.05. I think that's it. I think, I think that's yeah, it. we went five minutes overtime. Yep. And we started three or four minutes early. It's amazing. And they said we couldn't do a show, just the two of us. Come on. People said that. Come and I'm, on. I'm calling all you fuckers out. You don't don't think we don't read the vape team. We got feelings. Comment. You guys, you two can't do a show by yourselves. I've seen that before. Mark carries this show. <sighs> we had it. more stuff planned. We just didn't have enough time in this hour to do everything we wanted to do. We're not content less, I'll tell you that. Yeah. Mark's funny as fuck, though. I gotta say, <laughs> I love his goofy. This show stuff. is not the same without Mark. That's all. No, I'm saying. it's you need that. That's that's what's perfect about Mark. Mark don't have to say a word. He just got to do his fucking spinning around shit and his costumes, his... and just say his crazy shit. And that just that's awesome. It's yeah. awesome with him. You know? But uh, it was fun doing. I think the last time we did a show together, God, it was a long time ago. Just the two of us, right? It's been a while. I think has it been. What's the last time? Yes, it had to be the last time was during the time where BK was vanishing. Remember? And we did a show, Just Me and You. It was like 200 shows ago. Yes. Yep. A long because time. other times, if let's say someone was to come in, we would bring somebody else and invite somebody to be on the show. Yep. But uh, I think this is like the second time that it's just been just the two of us. And the difference between both shows is that first time we actually sat and just talked about vape. Yes, we did. Back then, there was a lot of vaping stuff to talk about. Now, it's just bad news to talk about. So it's like, 
we throw in a little bit of bad news, but the rest of the, you know, people don't want to hear bad news at this time, you know, at night. They want to have a little fun too. And chill know? out so a little bit. Chill out a little entertainment, whatever. Just talk about some random shit. And that's what we provided. Yep. For the peeps, baby. Salute. So, salute, salute to everybody. This boot's almost, for you. I'm almost done with my boot. Maybe I should boot this? Boot it. I'm not going to boot this because I'll be pissing the bed tonight. There's no question. And I'm sure if I piss the bed, Amy's going to share it. I guarantee it. There's no keeping secrets. That boot life, baby. Das boot, baby. Nostrovia. Skull. Hey. Skull. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> uh, I, I, I'm halfway through The Irishman. How the fuck I haven't watched it yet, I have no idea. But I'm halfway through and I'm enjoying it. So. The Irishman was pretty good. It's like three and a half hours. Yeah. It was pretty good. But I'm enjoying I it. Say- there was one scene where De Niro was w- went to the, the shop where his daughter got pushed or touched or whatever, and he th- took the guy outside. They could have fucking done that so much better. It looked yeah. so fake. Like, he wasn't putting pressure on him. They could have done, like, CGI or some way to really viciously have him kick that guy. It mm-hmm. looked like it was done on a play on a, on a, on a stage. You know what I mean? Yeah. That yeah. kind of pissed me off a little yeah. bit. You know? It was pretty good, but... Uh- yeah. Oh, we need an hour with Buzz the mic? I don't think so. I'm not even <laughs> Buzz, to tell you the truth. The Buzz the mic hour. Beers. That was two beers. But uh, the Messiah. I'm like already, God, fuck, I need season two of the Messiah on Netflix. Yeah. That was I, awesome. I was really surprised by the Rotten Tomatoes score for Messiah. It was like 30%. I'm like, dude, that show kept my attention. I would, it was that was a binge watch. I it was loved 30, Messiah. It was thirty percent for them because they're against anything that has to do with, with religion. Jesus. Yeah, and religion. Like the thought of Jesus. Yeah, but uh, that's why the rating was so low from them. But what was the other rating? The 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 audience score was ninety percent. Exactly. So there you. Go. Yeah. I totally enjoyed it. Yeah, uh, if you have Netflix, make sure to watch Messiah. I think it's it's a pretty pretty cool series. Also, watch Dracula. I was actually surprised. I enjoyed. There's three. It's three episodes, but it's like basically like hour and forty minute movies, and there's three of them. I liked it. It wasn't the best ever, but it was totally watchable. I, I just can't get into like Dracula. Yeah, if you can't get into it, you can't get into it. That was it. like something when I was young. I was like, oh, Dracula. But now it's that. I also watched uh, The Hateful Eight for like the 50th time. I fucking love The Hateful Eight. The Hateful remind Eight. me, is that like a, a Western style movie? It, it's Quentin Tarantino. It's a Western. Who is and it again? Is this Samuel L. Jackson? Samuel L. Jackson's in it. Uh, what's his name? Uh, yeah. I actually got to watch that again. I watched that when it first came out, if I'm not mistaken. I love it. I fucking yeah. love The Hateful Eight. I think it's one of my favorites from him. Incredible. Yeah. Well, yeah, exactly, Tom. The Chappelle uh, Netflix rating, critics panned it, not PC. Viewers loved it. Yeah, yeah what's up with all these critics? Why are they all so PC? I'm getting tired of all the critics, man. Because, I mean, we could, PC. that's a whole yeah, other, subject whole other show. you want to talk about. Yeah, political whole correctness. Subject, but there's reasons why, because they don't want to get... Offend anybody. Guy. They don't want yeah, the offending point. Yeah, fuck so that. So when you see something by them rated low, go watch it, because it's probably going to be badass. Exactly. That's the way it usually turns out. Uh, Kid, Kid Bass likes Count Cocula. That's actually a really good film, by the way. Who? Count Cocula. Count Cocula. It's in it's in the adult film industry. It's called Count Cocula. I think I think next time we need to have DC on the show to be Mark. That's there we like go. A Mark comment. <laughs> it is. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. We will see you next Thursday. Mark will be back. The show will be back. But thanks for hanging out with us tonight. Be safe. Much love to Australia. Much love to all the vapors out there that are yeah. fighting for our rights to vape. And uh, yeah, we'll see you next time. Peace. <laughs> Twenty minute outro begins now. I gotta piss again. <laughs> I'm gonna be pissing for the next hour. Yeah. I went through two those two bottles. Usually I have to go one for one. Mama! 
we do a dress like a lady? Dress like a lady! You for wiping everybody. Make sure you check it out next week on the same team. Detachable penis, detachable penis. Awesome show, Mike. Hell yeah.